What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now in this video, we're gonna talk about how do I maintain my productivity and how do I do a lot of it with these simple flashcards that I always keep in my pocket. Now, a lot of people have been noticing, hey, what's that flashcard? I'll tell you, it's really simple. All right, so a lot of people have been asking, you know, aside from this flashcard, how do I maintain my productivity? And I've seen, I mean, I love the idea of productivity. I think it's interesting. I think it's kind of fun to read about. And I love hearing about how other people organize their day and how they think and how they organize what they want to get done and how they accomplish it. Now, some people uh, do some pretty wild stuff, you know, like they, you know, have Google Calendar, which I'm like, okay, I use Google Calendar, you know, nice and simple. Or they use like the reminders on their phone. I'm like, okay, I use that too. But then some people get like crazy. They have like all these apps that like, tell, you know, take their Google Calendar and like put them in their reminders and give them updates and they get pop-ups and it comes to like their smartwatches. Um, you know, they, they use like all these like timing apps that gives them like updates based on, you know, what they've done. I, I don't, I, I, too much for me, man. I gotta keep it simple. You know, I don't like, this is like, again, very biased opinion that I have, and of course, it's never humble. Um, I don't like the idea of having to use too much stuff just to simply organize my day. And here's my rationale why. You gotta think about how people operated about, you know, 50 years ago. Of course, the world is different now than it was 50 years ago. It's busier, um, you know, you're expected to respond faster to things, productivity is expected to be higher, you're expected to know more, you know, the world's a different place. So I'm not trying to say it's a one for one, but I like the idea of, you know, keeping some old traditions that are like time honored and we know works, but then mixing in some tech and some modern tools to kind of give you a nice balance. You know, you, you don't want to go so far on one end of the spectrum where you're doing things like 50 years ago and you know, that's not gonna work. Or you're, doing, you're trying to do everything tech now and you're spending more time trying to organize the software and the apps and you are just getting stuff done. You know, you want a nice balance. So here's what I do. Number one, everything has to be written down, electronically or on paper. Electronic is preferred. Everyone now, for the most part, has a smartphone. You know, Android, Apple, whatever makes you happy, right? So if it's electronic, it's always on your phone right like it's always with you you never have to run away you know you want most people don't lose their phones too so that's nice you know but like it's not like you have to have a, a calendar in your hand and separately a phone like you did you know even 10 years ago so now everything I do has to be written down and the rationale behind that is man I just don't remember it if I'm trying to remember it all in my head and the thinking behind that is you know I've just been burned enough times I'm just like oh I'll remember this man, you forget that like in 10 minutes, you're like, oh shoot, what are they supposed to do? Or, you know, someone's like, hey, did you do this? You're like, oh no, I forgot. So, you know, I learned that the hard way in residency. I've made a video about like the checkbox technique. If it isn't written down, it ain't gonna get done as far as I'm concerned. So number one, that's how I use this flashcard right away. If I get an idea about something I wanna do, I actually take, you know, it's always a pen and a paper here. I always write it down on one side of the flashcard. Flashcard's got two sides, you know, you, you can even see. This side has the date. I got some like dots and lines. You know, this is just a personal preference of how I start the day. And this side's the line side. So if I have an idea of something that I want to get done, it goes on the line side. That's like my idea creation side. And then on the other blank side, that's things that I'm getting done that day that I'm just making sure to get crossed off. And then the reason why I have this is I feel like when I'm writing things down for my ideas, it just, it slows you down. You're like writing, you're thinking about it a bit. Different than when you're just typing on the notes in your computer. Now that's just my preference. And I like keeping it here because it kind of gives me something to kind of go back and look at again. And the thing about that is when you're using a flashcard, it's like the flashcard has one purpose and one purpose only. You know, like I said, you know, one side has my ideas, the other side's my, got my like daily to-dos that I'm going through. Now, you know, when you put things on your phone, the challenge that I have is the phone is not a one purpose thing. You make phone calls on it, you send texts on it, you're you know, watching YouTube videos on it, you're checking emails on it, you're sending emails on it, 
you're on various apps on it, you're opening up your calendar, using your notes. Your phone does so many functions, as far as my brain's concerned, you know, whenever I pick up the phone, anything could happen. It's not always gonna go the same thing. But whenever I bring out the flashcard, only one thing is gonna happen in my head, which is why I like that technique. It automatically focuses me on I'm gonna do one thing. So that's why I like the flashcard for putting down ideas and like kind of working my daily to-do. So how I use you know, the daily to-do feature every morning is, okay, like I said, if everything has to be written down. So Google Calendar for me, I mean, I used to use like iCal on my Mac, like, you know, five or eight years ago before Google Calendar became so well integrated. Um, so now I just use Google Calendar. But everything has to be in Google Calendar as far as I'm concerned. If no other app is used, you gotta use, in my opinion, and again, you know, just what I like, I use Google Calendar. It's easy, it's fast, it immediately syncs with my iPhone. It's great, you know, it's free too, so that's nice. So everything goes in Google Calendar. What I'm doing that day, the time I'm doing it, the location, as much detail as I can, you know, I just throw it in there so I don't have to worry about it later. Okay, so everything's gotta go Google Calendar. The nice thing about that is you can open up your phone and just click the calendar, and because it syncs instantaneously, it's always there in front of you, so that's nice. So if I get an email from someone who's like, hey, let's have a meeting at this time, we're working on this research project, it goes right in the Google Calendar right away. No thoughts about it, don't gotta worry about anything else. Now, so that's how I, that's, that's essentially, I only use two apps, Google Calendar and then the Reminders app, um, on my iPhone. The reason why I like to use the Reminders app is, you know, I only allow myself like, you know, five or eight things to ever be on that list at one time. If it's getting too long, it probably belongs on the calendar, you know, or somewhere else than the Reminder. The Reminder to me is a short-term thing, and I like it because I can put time and day for an alarm to go off to remind me about it. So, you know, whether it's, you know, something as family oriented as okay order some mother's day flowers you know 8 a.m tomorrow you'll get a pop-up at 8 a.m like oh shoot, i gotta do that i almost forgot again or you know like at you know 7 p.m you know i do this every single day almost 7 p.m an alarm will go off on my phone um sit down for 15 to 30 minutes and just read something for neuro you know study a reminder because otherwise you forget you know this is kind of nice it's like an automated assistant um, who's giving you little reminders and I made them beforehand you know you just put a reminder in there you know 7 p.m. remind me study you know that's it you know send flowers 8 a.m. done so this is only two apps that I use Google Calendar which everything goes into um, and the reminders for the daily reminders that I want so what I do every morning to implement the flashcard is every morning I sit down while I'm having breakfast you know get up like you know just get up 10 minutes early have a moment to think and plan your day taking a lit man I cannot overemphasize this and I think a lot of other people talk about it as well so it's not like it's oddly creative but I just think it really works get up you know 15 minutes earlier sit down at a table in your house get a cup of coffee or whatever you like and just take 10 minutes to plan your day you know do it for you know, get up don't check your email don't check text messages just sit there and just think what am I doing today and the way I do that is, first thing I do, I open up my calendar, I take a look at what's in there. I look at the next day too, and kind of just make sure nothing else is coming up that I'm forgetting or missing. Just so look at the calendar, things that I have to get done that day, I write it down on the blank side of my thing, and I put a little box and I write it down. Put a box, write it down. Yeah, is it redundant? Now it's on a flashcard and on the calendar? Absolutely, but that's okay, that's what I want. I want a bit of redundancy here. And again, I'm slowing down, I'm writing it down by hand on my flashcard, I'm thinking about it. That's important to me. Um, and then I just you know write down all the things I wanna do that day. And then I open up the Reminders app just to kinda see what's coming at me today. What pop-ups am I getting on my phone that are gonna be reminding me? And you know, I just kinda, if I want, I can write it down. I usually don't because I'm gonna get a pop-up anyway, so nothing to worry about. And that's it. And I think to myself, you know, anything else gonna be happening? Then I just kinda quickly look at my emails, make sure nothing urgent is going on. And that's it. 10 minutes, look at your calendar, which you already put all, everything into, so you don't have to like, you know, edit that or anything. Look at your reminders, make sure you didn't put anything in there. Um, write things down on the flashcard and you're good to go. And that's all I do to plan my day. That's how I keep productive. Everything is in the Google Calendar as I get it. I, I, like I said, I get an email. Hey Mo, you know, 
research poster got to accept it. You're flying to Philadelphia from this day to this day. You know, you got to present. All right, you know, when's the research meeting? When do I got to get the, you know, print the poster on this day? You know, book flights, you know, put them in, put them in there. Get all that done. Everything's got to go in the calendar. That's like the home base. And like I said, reminders are as you need things to give you pop-ups. And that's all I use. I don't use any other software. I don't use any fancy assistant, AI things. Google Calendar, the reminders on my phone, and the flashcard every day. And as the day goes on, you know, pulling out the flashcard and checking off the boxes, I can add new ones as I'm, you know, thinking with things and talking to people. Or if I got things I want to throw in Google Calendar, I do it right there on my phone that moment. You know, you don't do it later. And then at the end of the day, you know, this is kind of really important to me, it's the recap. When you get home, you know, you settle down, you do your stuff, whatever, and then take again, just five, ten minutes, sit down with like a cup of tea or a cup of water, whatever, um, and again, just think. Look at your flashcard, look at your calendar, look at your reminders, see what you accomplished today see what you got left to do today um, see what didn't happen it's gonna get have to push to tomorrow reflect on the day man I can't tell you the beginning and end of the day where the beginning you're taking a moment to kind of plan the whole thing and at the end of the day when you're taking just a little bit of time to reflect on the whole day is so instrumental it's gonna give you a lot of feedback about how are you doing um, where do you need to work on your productivity? Where do you need to do better? Um, how could you, you know, grow? Or are you doing great? You need to relax a little bit. You're pushing too hard. Whatever have you. This end of the day reflection is really important for your own growth and like, you know, maintenance and like well-being. All right, guys, that's how I do it. I keep it simple. Google Calendar, reminders on my iPhone, flashcard always in my pocket. Maintain your productivity. You know, plan your day in the morning, reflect in the evening. Not much else to do. It's pretty simple. All right, guys, comment down below. How do you maintain your productivity? Do you use a flashcard? Do you do it different? Are there any easy apps that you use that you like, you know, can't live without? Tell me down below. I read all the comments. I thumb them up. I like them. I try to reply to them every now and then. I read them all, guys. I love the comments. I like to hear what you're thinking. Go ahead and drop comments down below. And as always, enjoy your studies.